Trey can be here and I am going to show you how to release the sleeve uh, that feels a little too tight in the upper arm. Uh, many women have a, a sense that a sleeve is too tight in the upper arms. Uh, the square armhole on the Carpe Diem dress uh, and as well on the Tabula Rasa jacket is a very user-friendly arm for women who have a full upper arm, but it doesn't always give you everything that you need. And if your arm feels uncomfortable in the sleeve, you'll want to expand it so that it gives you a little bit more room to move around and you don't feel like you're tight in your garment. Uh, for me, that is one of the worst feelings. So I'm always looking to relieve any sort of tightness in my garment and in the upper arm, that is a very common place to have a little too much snugness in the arm. So enjoy this little video. I'm going to show you a couple different ways. One way when you just need a little extra, uh, space in there and one way if you need a fairly large amount of extra. Both of these are tested and they work great on this square armhole. Always just remembering that whatever the size you use at the bottom of the sleeve, uh, it needs to match the side panel that it is connecting to. That is the magic bullet when you are working on your pattern work for the Carpe Diem dress and tunic. going to look at the sleeve and particularly the amount of width you have in the sleeve. Uh, people uh, have, have a full upper arm, sometimes need to make a little bit of adjustment to accommodate the fullness of the arm so the sleeve still feels comfortable. Um, and so we're going to look at this area here and how you can make that a little bit bigger to give yourself a little extra uh, girth in the top of the arm, in the full uh, full part of the arm, maybe down even through the elbow. Some people's fullness even runs all the way down the arm and they need to make an adjustment for that. So I have here the base pattern, the whole multi-sized pattern. Underneath it, I have my little medium sleeve that I've traced off. Uh, and we're gonna look here at how you can do that. The simplest and easiest way is to move between the sizes uh, and so you could take your ruler, and if you knew that you had a full upper arm, you might want to do this in advance of even making your maca. Uh, and you could take your ruler, and you could create a space here where you would go, uh, say you were using the extra large, uh, and you wanted to go out to the 3XL. I'm going to shift this pattern here just a little. So there's our 3XL. Let's see if we can find this curve that will get us into the XL. So you don't want to adjust the pattern within the 5 8 inch of the seam allowance. You would mark that for yourself. And then from there you can pull out the, um, the amount that you need to get you from the top here. If we're using this XL, which is those orange dots and dashes, and we're going to bring it here so that it connects to the um, to the 3XL and we're going to avoid as we said the um, the seam allowance at the 5 8 so this looks like the place to do it I always find it hard to find these um, these funny curves let's go back where we were alright and we're going to just start here and we're going to come down like this. And so we've added here almost a half an inch in the girth there. And you would do it to both sides. On the sleeve, you have to do the alteration on both sides. So we would come over here and do it on this one as well, going from the extra large to the 3XL, leaving the 5 8 inch seam allowance intact. And we would just give ourselves enough girth there. Now this does not, this gives you a little bit of extra room all the way down, a quarter inch on each side, which gives you an extra half an inch of room. So that is the quick and easy way to add a little bit of extra girth into the upper arm. 
uh, on this pattern. And this, as I said, the square armhole already gives you some. But there's another way that's a little more complex. And we're actually going to look at the medium sleeve and, and do this alteration so you can see how it works. And this is a true uh, slash and pivot alteration. We're going to actually draw our 5 8 inch seam line right here on the pattern and give ourselves the two 5 8 inch lines right here. You get so you can sort of just see them yourself. Now, we are going to cut uh, a hinge up here and I'm going to actually shift this so I can work this way so you can see and I can um, do it without totally messing with my arm. So what we need to keep um, stable is this little seam that attaches to the side seam. So after you sew this seam of the underarm, then they open up and they attach to the side seam. So this must remain constant and that's why we're doing this little um, pivot, slash and pivot. And so then we're going to pivot this out to give ourselves a little bit more room right through here, but more importantly, to give ourselves more room through the um, through the sleeve itself down here in the body of the sleeve. So I'm going to lay this little piece of brown paper here uh, and let you see that um, if we do this, and we're going to just sort of pin this right now and see, we'll ultimately tape it where we want it, but sometimes it's good to see exactly how much extra you can get. Uh, and if we find our, our curve, uh, the curve that we have here in the, um, in the armhole itself, and we, uh, I'm not sure we're going to find that. So let's just talk through. We want again to make sure that we are not starting our new curve anywhere near the 5 8 inch seam allowance. We have that visibly showing here because the seam allowance has been tipped. Now, uh, if we give ourselves this curve, and we're going to just sort of pencil it in here, so we can measure, and that's going to get us down right about the elbow, and that has us uh, giving ourselves here in the uh, girth of the sleeve an extra one inch, which means you would have two extra inches in the actual sleeve itself. If you have a very full upper arm, this might be just the ticket uh, for what you need. So now that we know we can give ourselves that whole inch, uh, we're going to presume that is enough. And so we're going to tape down first the permanent sleeve, and then we'll go in and tape down this adjustment so that we can create the addition to the sleeve. We do this in both the knit sleeve and the jacket sleeve as well if you need extra fullness in the sleeve. They are, um, of course, each their own entity, but this is the same way that we have you adjust them. And gals who do need extra in their sleeve uh, swear by it. They say it really makes it feel a lot better. So I'm going to now, I've found that curve coming off the seam, and we're going to just draw it here. This is one time with this unusual armhole that you don't really have to worry about um, blending using your curved ruler, but the curved ruler is extremely helpful in this situation. And then you would repeat this on the other side of the sleeve, and uh, let's just turn this here so that we would pinch, we would um, tape this all the way down so that we have added that extra all the way down the sleeve, which is uh, what you might need if you have a full upper arm. Uh, if you're not sure that your upper arm is too full for the sleeve, then make a mock-up without this uh, adjustment, and then you can try it out um, and try it on and see what you think. Uh, and then go from there. So then we would repeat the adjustment here on the other side of the sleeve, and I'll do that just so you can see it one more time. We're going to draw that seam allowance line in, uh, and then we're going to uh, cut it this way up to 
So five eighths, and then we're going to cut a little hinge right here. All right, and so you can see there that that can be then shifted so that we have what we need. And we could even give ourselves, if we shifted it out a little bit further, we could give ourselves even more than the um, one inch. Uh, we have an actually half inch here where the sleeve, where the um, this seam allowance tips. And then we're going to have a half inch that, um, a one whole inch underneath. So let's get that tape back here. And tip this down first and then we will measure and make sure we are making it identical once you've done this you might even want to fold your um, so it's actually 5 8 inch down here at the bottom and then we will um, tape this here And then fill in some more paper here. I did not have quite enough paper on that. Um, so that we have what we need. Look at that. Sometimes you have to piece your paper if you haven't um, planned ahead. This, if you think about your pattern as a tool, if the paper is not it has to be pieced, it's okay as long as you get the adjustment you need. That is the most important part of the process. Getting the adjustment you need so the sleeve is comfortable on you. If you need a full upper arm adjustment, you know that this is really a game changer for you in terms of how comfortable your clothing is. I am um, a great advocate of this uh, adjustment because it makes such a difference for people who have a very full upper arm and want to um, have enough room to move comfortably. And let's take our blue pencil and draw in this new line. And then you can see that we have extended that sleeve widthwise quite a bit for your comfort. So adding width into the sleeve, adding girth into the sleeve, uh, is a wonderful way to give yourself more room so that your carpe diem dresses and tunics are comfortable if you have a full upper arm. Thanks for watching this Fit for Art video of common fitting adjustments for the carpe diem dress. I'm Ray Cumby and I'm so glad you joined me and if you are someone who feels like the sleeves, your sleeves are often too tight, I hope you will try this adjustment and uh, continue to persevere until you get yourself a comfortable and easy fitting sleeve in your carpe diem dress. Happy pattern work!